Hello again everybody, hope you're all doing well. So, in my last video I spoke about how changing the weight of your rollers in your variator affects the um, transmission and everything on your scooter. This video I thought I would quickly explain what happens if you use different sized rollers. So, how rollers are sized, we have two dimensions, we have width and uh, diameter, which is obviously around. So to give you an example, these rollers are uh, 15 by 12. So they're 15 millimetres around in diameter, and they are 12 millimetres wide. So what happens if you use different sized rollers? Well, obviously, if you've got a 12 millimetre ramp, you're not going to fit 12, uh, 13 millimetre wide rollers in your variator. That's just not going to happen. However, if you've got a 13 millimetre wide ramp, you could quite easily drop in a set of... 12 millimeter wide rollers, but that would be a very bad idea. I'll tell you for why, because if I drop this roller in there right now, you can see it's in the ramp. Now it's completely free moving. It's got no issues rolling backwards and forwards, but you'll notice that there's very little gap between the sides. So this roller has not got any side to side movement or at least very, very, very little. Uh, but if you put a roller in there that was a millimeter um, smaller in width, it would have a lot more side to side movement and could potentially twist a bit, get jammed or something else bad could happen. So that's that's just a no, no anyway. But what about different diameter rollers? Because there's nothing stopping you from getting larger or smaller diameter rollers and putting them in the, your variator. So, for example, my one here uses uh, 15 millimeter by 12. So I could theoretically get a set of 17 by 12 because they're still 12 millimeter wide, but they are 17 millimeters in diameter, so that's two millimeters larger in diameter. And uh, I could drop them in here, and theoretically it would work. But what would it actually do? Well, if you know anything about variators, or if you saw my previous video, you'll know that this this variator plate sits on top of the rollers, and as the rollers, uh, as the variator is spinning round, centrifugal force chucks these rollers up the sides of the ramps and pushes this plate out, which obviously pushes out the variator. But if you put larger diameter rollers in, this plate is going to be sitting, when it's in its closed state, so when the variator is fully open, which would be like the equivalent of first gear or whatever, um, this plate, if you have larger diameter rollers in, may well be sitting slightly, you know, a millimetre or two higher up, which means that the variator would actually be pushed out slightly. Now, obviously, that would be pushing the belt up slightly as well. So, effectively, what you'd have there is the... The vehicle would be almost locked in the equivalent of second gear because obviously with the rollers being a bit larger and this plate being pushed out a bit so the variator's pushed in a bit um you know the ratio the belt is not going to be allowed to go down to its lowest setting which would normally be your lowest ratio so what's going to happen is you're going to end up having a slower takeoff it would be like pulling away in second gear on a manual bike um Benefits, potentially, if you have a larger uh, diameter roller, it might allow this plate to be pushed out a little bit further than the standard ones, which would mean the belt could potentially travel a bit further up the variator face if it isn't. I mean, so you'll notice on my variator here, you can see you've got the shiny area and you've got the dull area at the top. The shiny area is where the belt's been rubbing on it, and this dull area is where the belt hasn't got to. So on my variator, the belt doesn't quite travel all the way up. Um, so having those larger diameter rollers could potentially chuck the belt further up, but not necessarily, because if your if your belt's you know not long enough uh, to to uh, do that, or if if the, um, you know it's already riding at its lowest point on the clutch end anyway then you're not going to see any benefit from it. All you're going to do is basically hurt your performance on the acceleration. Okay, so that's if you put larger diameter rollers in. So what about if we go the other way? What about if we have, say, a standard? We have 17 by 12 millimeter rollers in our variator, and we decide to drop down to 15 by 12, so effectively go two millimeters smaller. Well, we're not going to have the problem with acceleration because the plate is going to be allowed to sit at its lowest point so the variator will be fully open when you first start off so acceleration is not going to be affected however what you are going to find is that obviously once 
you get start getting towards the top of the ramp, because the variators are a smaller diameter, they're not going to be pushing this plate as far. So we're going to have the complete opposite of having larger rollers. We're going to have it, which, you know, the larger rollers obviously pushed out further. This time around with the smaller rollers, it's not going to push it out as far. So basically your belt's not going to ride as far up the variator face and it would be the equivalent of losing your top gear. So if, if you imagine a five or six, let's say a six speed manual motorcycle, it would be the equivalent of basically never shifting into sixth gear. So that's that's it basically. That's that's how different diameter uh, roller sizes would affect your variator. Basically, whichever way you look at it, it's never a good thing. You know, some people think you know larger the larger one will give you uh, higher top speed maybe but not necessarily and you'll lose acceleration smaller ones they think might give them a bit more acceleration uh basically no because this plate when it's when it's at its lowest point with the standard variator rollers in it's never going to get any lower and putting smaller roller weights in is not going to help that if you you know i explained in my previous video uh how uh, changing the weights affects it uh, and that's the way to do it if you're going to change your rollers at all you're going to change the weight and you're going to be tuning to get the engine into the optimum RPM. It's never a good idea, really, to use roller sizes that are different in your variator. So my recommendations, always use the correct size. So if your variator uses 15 by 12, always use 15 by 12. If it uses 16 by 13, same thing. If you use 17 by 12, you get the idea always use the rollers that are the correct width and the correct diameter and then fiddle with the actual weights of the rollers uh, but otherwise leave it alone if you want it to be reliable so there you go guys hopefully that was another useful video for you if you did like it please do give this video a like and go check out my other videos and for now i'll catch you again soon